Morning guys, welcome to my desk. Found out that Sarah has just hit a million on YouTube. She's still in bed, so I'm gonna go and surprise her and see what her reaction's like. Okay, let's go. Oh no, scruffy dog. Hey mate, you stoked? Happy 1 million subscribers! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Abby Stokes! Look at you wiggle, mate! Did I actually make it? Yeah! Look at this! Woo! Yeah, Abby! <laughs> Do you know how cool your mum is? Woo! <laughs> I can only live so much with this <laughs> I love how like two minutes ago you were dead asleep. <laughs> Oh, well done. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. This is gonna be a good Tuesday. Is it? Yeah. How's my rash? Yeah, looking fabulous. Actually? Yeah. What actually about doesn't... the rest of my head? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> oh, Abby! One million subscriber cuddle! It's oh. all because of you, Abby. Simba! I did it! So now what? Are you gonna quit YouTubing now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I need to start like a knitting club or something. <laughs> You're such a weirdo. <laughs> you know, knitting things. You know, look. What? My belly button's nearly popped. Oh my gosh, you can see all the veins in the side of your stomach right now. Shredded bra. Ah, yes, yes, yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy! What a good way to start the year. Yep, then I get a baby, then I get a new boyfriend. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> this calls for a celebration. Let's get breakfast. No. Uh. I'm thinking we get a coffee mm. and then I gotta go to boxing. So you're just gonna do what you're gonna do anyway. I like our normal routine. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm getting my legs waxed today for the first time ever. I've never had my legs waxed. Why? What do you usually do? Shave them. Oh. Do you not know me? Don't look at my rash! <laughs> All today you need to refer to me as one Millie. Like Lil Wayne, you know? A Millie, otherwise I don't get up or talk to you. Just call me it, please. Please just call me it. <laughs> otherwise I'm not getting up. Now it's a little bit later in the day. I ended up doing like half an hour boxing and then I wanted to stay and keep doing arm work But I am just so hot all the time. It's so weird. Once you get hot It's really hard to get cool again sweating so much. My face was really red it felt fine But I just knew deep down that I'm not allowed to get my body too hot and too sweaty because it's not good for the baby So instead of training through and pushing through as much as I wanted to I just went home So my workout is done. I wasn't vlogging because as you guys know my friend Sophie lives in New York half the year I haven't seen her for months and she bought me these balloons yeah. on the million subscribers if you don't like leg hairs then probably close your eyes for this section of the vlog let me just put this up here strangely enough one of my most frequent questions that you guys ask me is what do I do for hair removal so before I got pregnant I got laser on my underarms and my bikini it was the best thing I ever did however since becoming pregnant I don't do laser anymore I probably will when I stop breastfeeding but anyway and then for my legs I've always just shaved them Right now with a bump, it's like just a little bit uncomfortable to do that. When I have a baby, people say like, you don't even have time to brush your hair or brush your teeth. Will I even have time to shave my legs? And personally, everyone's different. I totally get it. I just like having hairless legs, hairless underarms and bikini. So at the moment, I'm shaving my underarms, which is so annoying. I really miss laser. <laughs> but my legs, okay. Pregnancy has made my leg hairs grow slower, but I've really used and abused that privilege because I haven't shaved them for like a month. And I'm going to show you them right now okay so just yep so from afar they look totally fine and I am lucky that they're really thin and blonde but up close can you see that they're actually long hair I want to do it justice like full glory look at that 
Look at that. So I'm actually gonna go get my legs waxed for the first time in my whole life. So I get my eyebrows waxed, but I've never gotten anything else waxed, I don't think. Aren't your leg hairs supposed to grow slower or like not come back as quick if you wax them? Hopefully that's the truth because that will be ideal with a baby and then I can just get them waxed like once a month. I don't even know. I'm gonna take you guys along with me because I have no idea how it's gonna feel. I'm just gonna grab some shoes. I announced it on Instagram story and everyone was like, oh my gosh, it hurts so bad. Probably good prep for me giving birth, you know? It's super hot outside today, it's like 30 degrees. So I'm just wearing this jumpsuit that I actually wore to my gender reveal. And I'm so happy it still fits me. I purposely got a bigger size so that I can just grow into it. So this should fit me, I reckon, until the end of my pregnancy. Oh my gosh, pump this aircon, it's so hot. First of all, soz about the angle, but I normally put my camera on the dash, but it's black, boiling hot, and will probably like ruin my camera. So you guys are down here in the cool, in the shade, you're welcome. I'm currently on my way to Glow Spa in Barney Bay. That's where I get most of my beautician spa treatments done. I'm not even nervous to get my legs waxed. I don't really get nervous for things like that. And even when I got laser, the pain is not that bad at all. Also, I wanna do a dedicated video about like pregnancy and talk about like my ideas on labor and what I want my labor to be like, how I feel about it, Am I nervous? So let me know in the comments below if you want me to make that. Uh, and I feel really bad. This sounds so lame. Don't really rise and think I'm a loser. I am, but like, I don't know. I feel really bad. I haven't even been on Instagram today or like posted a photo or even said thank you for reaching 1 million subscribers because it's all because of you guys and I want to say thank you and I know that. But I need to go home and get a photo. I know what photo I want. I just want it to be in my study of like me editing because to be honest, that's the reality of being a YouTuber. Essentially, you're just in your study editing all day if you're your own editor. So yeah, I just want to do a photo of like me in my study with my laptop and my earphones and just say like a huge thank you to everyone for getting me to a million subscribers. Just a little homage to my study because that's where I spend 95% of my time. But once I get my legs waxed, I'm going to go home and take that photo. I know that sounds really lame, but I'm just being honest and it's kind of my job. Also, like my sunnies, <laughs> wonder if my legs will be like the hairiest she's ever seen. Da -da -da -da. Hey, how are you? They're so long that they're fluffy, not spiky. Your leg hairs are peaking. No, they're are you good. proud of that? Yeah. No, they're good. They're so blonde, so. Yeah, they look good. they're blonde, but like they glisten in the sun, so then it's <laughs> obvious. <laughs> Laying on my side to protect the bump. I told people on Insta story that I was gonna do it, and oh. everyone was like, oh my gosh, it's the most painful thing ever. It's everyone has like. A, a different, different pain threshold. Yeah, exactly. All right, this is good prep for labor, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you can get through a leg wax, you can get through labor. Oh, is that it? Yeah. It's not that bad. Are you joking? This is not even bad. Yeah, see what I mean? Can confirm that was fine. Yeah. God, he's like rolling so much to this. He likes it. Okay, that was so much better than I thought it was going to be. Yes, she said I had a good pain tolerance, but also my legs didn't go red. They didn't go all dotty like she said that a lot of people do. So maybe it's like a combination of not having sensitive legs, having thin hairs, and maybe having a good pain tolerance. Let's hope so for labor. That would be great. She said I had a good pain tolerance. Yeah, right. I don't believe that. She did. She no. said, she said, oh my gosh, you have a really good pain tolerance because I said it didn't hurt. And I actually liked the feeling of it. I don't believe her. I do. I want to get a photo for Insta saying thanks a million subscribers. Let's do it with the sign on. I'm normally in like my editing glasses and a hoodie. So I'm just gonna keep it real and chuck a hoodie on and get a photo showing the real life of a YouTuber. <laughs> I figured I would give you guys a proper body update. If a person's pregnant, that is my favorite part of the vlog. So right now I'm 30 weeks and two days. I roll over on Mondays and it's Wednesday today. That's what my bump is looking like. I've actually woken up this morning feeling really, really tight and stretched around here, like my V. My midwife said because I had such a strong and tight core before pregnancy, it's common that I'm gonna have some pains with it all stretching and opening up. Because that's the thing, if I ever gain fat, it's always on my thighs here or on my arms. I hardly ever gain fat on my stomach so yeah I've just never really had a big belly before obviously not like this but it's so weird that you can still see like definition I don't really understand what that is but I thought that was super weird I'm obviously training no abs at all and not striving for this boobs are definitely getting bigger and bigger every day and my nipples what did I call them I called them raspberry nipples I'm gonna nearly upgrade them to strawberries so there's that also update on the belly button it hasn't fully popped 
as you can see. I haven't started getting that line either. I've got no stretch marks so far. I'm pretty much oiling morning and night. Sometimes if I don't get to do the morning, I'll definitely do the night. The baby right now is around 1.5 kilos and he's gonna get to around three and a half or four. Yeah, he's gonna get double as chunky. So I've just gotten out of the shower and I figured right now would be the perfect time to give you a little skin update, which actually, this is probably the best lighting in the house, like the most natural. Literally, as soon as I got pregnant, my skin was one of the first things to turn on me. You guys know my background with hormonal acne. So when I'm not pregnant, I know my own strategies to like manage my hormones, what to eat, what to take, my probiotics and everything. So getting pregnant is an absolute game changer. You have no control over your skin, over your hormones, over anything. So not only did I I break out in like crazy acne pimples, but I also got perioral dermatitis around my mouth. Put a picture in here, like a little video, and this is it right now. With nothing on, like I literally have just cleansed my skin. It's looking so much better. So come to my ensuite and I'll show you. So I don't naturally have clear skin at all. It's like a huge effort for me to have semi-decent skin. And when I'm not pregnant, my skin is definitely one of like my best qualities. I want to say that without signing up myself, but like I've like spent my life trying to manage my skin and get it nice. So the first thing I've been doing is really focusing on my morning routine. That means probiotics, prebiotics and loads of water. If you guys watch my Insta stories, you would have seen that every single morning I have that pink drink. Oh, and you also got a little glimpse of it earlier in the vlog. That is going to be revealed at the start of February. I know I said January, but it's like one of the most complex things I've ever come up with, taking a lot longer than I thought. And then in terms of topical things, ah, uh, sorry, my towel's like about to fall off and I'm gonna flash you my strawberry size nipples, which we'll talk about in a second, don't you worry. I bought this little like travel container and I filled it up with like three quarters of apple cider vinegar and then the rest with water. And then all I do is I get a cotton bud and put it on wherever my perioral dermatitis is. And then I'm using the Loving Earth coconut oil. I have one in my bathroom and one in my kitchen. And I get a little bit of that and again, put that over the rash. And then I let that kind of dry or settle in. And even in terms of makeup, I'm only using BB cream right now. If I wear makeup, I probably wear makeup like twice a week. I need to wrap up this vlog, but I thought I would just debrief with you guys and answer a few questions while I moisturize my body. So yesterday we went to a midwife appointment to just check the baby and everything. So I thought I'd give you guys a little update on that. So every time you go in to see them, they measure your tummy and make sure like you're tracking along fine. So I'm 31 centimeters at 30 weeks, which is like perfect. But what exciting change. I don't know if it's exciting or like scary, but for the last two times I've gone in, she fills my tummy and checks with where the baby is and yesterday he was one fifth engaged which means like his head is moving down into my pelvis and that's what happens like before you give birth so she wasn't worried or anything but yeah just crazy that he's already becoming engaged and ready to come out okay i just need to get comfortable because i'm about to tell you guys some tmi kind of stuff um, okay, so just being completely honest, you guys know I have genuinely loved being pregnant. I really thought that I would struggle with like my eating and training and I would just blow up and just feel really uncomfortable. But at 30 weeks, I can say I'm loving it. I feel like my normal self. This is so much easier and so much better than I thought it was going to be. And that's just my experience personally. However, the last two weeks, I've had this really weird symptom that I was like trying to explain to people and like no one knew what I was talking about and this symptom is I hope this like doesn't anti monetize me because I say like the word vagina but I'm saying it in a non sexual way I feel like I've been punched in the vagina it feels like my vagina is literally bruised I wouldn't say it's like painful but it's not the most comfortable feeling so I told my midwife and she said because I'm like such a small short person and he's already one-fifth engaged it's just like a lot of pressure on my vagina and my pelvis so yeah she was like just beware because it's only gonna get worse so there's that I'm not in pain it's just like a little bit uncomfortable and I just want to make sure I'm like balancing the playing field here I feel like I'm so positive and happy about pregnancy which is is like my honest experience but I want to be real as well and say while I love being pregnant and I love feeling him and I feel really happy I also feel like my vagina has been punched a billion times and then again just want to be honest you're not supposed to do this okay I know that my midwife said to me when I'm 36 weeks pregnant she'll teach me how to hand express like get colostrum 
out of my nipple. So basically you have colostrum for I think the first three days of when your baby is born. Then once he's around three days old, my milk should come in. So for the first couple of days, he just gets colostrum. Yellowy, milky consistency, but it's like really high in probiotics. It's just like, they call it liquid gold. You're not supposed to do any nipple stimulation because it can induce like preterm labor and all this kind of stuff. But I was like really curious and I just wanted to see if I had colostrum at 30 weeks. So I was in the shower the other night and I literally, I did it so tiny. It wasn't even nipple stimulation. It was just like, just like a little, a little squeeze. And I got a bead of colostrum. <gasps> Massage, squeezed it. And then it looks like a little bit of pus comes out. It wasn't pus, it was colostrum. So I was very open and honest with my midwife and she was like, Sarah, no, no more nipple stimulation until you're 36 weeks and then she'll teach me how to hand express. Don't do it, I'm just saying that was super exciting seeing colostrum come out of my nipple. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like because it really supports my channel and make sure you subscribe because I upload new videos every three days. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.